Welcome to the Pink Plotter Cloud Getting Started Guide. This guide is designed to show you how to use Pink Plotter to find out what is causing your network issue. The first thing you need to understand is the Pink Plotter Agent. An agent is the application you install on the remote device. You'll want to install the agent on a device that lives on the same network that is having issues. For example, if John is getting disconnected from the VPN, I would install the agent on John's computer. To create an agent, go to the Agents page and select Create Agent. Give this agent a friendly name like John to make it easier to identify later on. Now select the agent and download the installer. Once installed, your agent status will update to online indicating it is ready for use. We'll now start a trace on the agent. Click on the agent targets to go to the agent summary page. You'll type the IP address, URL, or host name of the endpoint here in the target bar. What you trace to depends on what service is having the issue. For VoIP issues, trace to the VoIP server. For VPN issues, trace to the VPN server. For something less specific, trace to a widely accessible service like Google DNS. Start the trace by either hitting enter or clicking on the green play button. The trace then drops down into this section here. To see more details about this trace, click on its IP address. This page is called the target window, where you'll be able to identify where your network issue could be occurring. Each row here shows the hops between the agent and the endpoint, which is the final row. The graphic on the right is called the latency graph, where the X shows the current latency, the open circle shows average latency, the left bar shows minimum latency, and the right bar shows maximum latency. You want all of these to stay within the green. Down here is the timeline graph. This is where you'll spend most of your time. The latency is graphed in black, while packet loss is shown in red. Ideally, latency stays within the green zone and you don't see any red. Anytime you see red here, it could indicate that there is a network issue. Leave this trace running so they can continue to collect data until the issue happens again. When it does, if the network was to blame, you'll see it show up here as high latency and or packet loss, like here and here. When you have at least 10 minutes of data collected, you'll be able to run insights. Insights is our automated analysis tool designed to help you understand what your ping plotter data is telling you. Click on the button to run the report. The signal quality summary details how suitable this connection is for a specific service. This section shows the top three events that contributed to poor signal quality. Click on one to see more details. The timeline graph zooms in on the event and here you'll see it has outlined the offending hop. Over here you'll find any potential issues. Click on Read More to get suggestions on how you might go about resolving this issue. This report can easily be shared using LiveShare. LiveShare links allow permitted users to share web links to live updating ping plotter results. To create a LiveShare, click on the Share button and select LiveShare. You can give this a name, an expiration date, and include notes with this share. Once the link is created, you can easily send this to whomever is responsible for resolving the issue. This was a brief introduction to Bean Plotter Cloud. If you have any questions or would like to schedule a training session, please contact us at support at pingman.com. Happy pinging!